Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's King Shazam, and here I'm going to be giving you my top 5 comic book movies of 2016. Just keep in mind, this is my opinion, and at the time of this video, Doctor Strange is not out yet, but frankly, this is my opinion, I, do not, I don't want to see it, okay? If I'm going to see it, I'm just going to rent it or something, it does not have my interest at all. So that's why I just feel like doing this now. I just don't feel like doing Doctor Strange now, or seeing it. But who knows, maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll pull off like Guardians of the Galaxy did. So, yeah, like I said before, this is my top five comic book movies of 2016. And if you count them, there's a total of six. So I'm going to have all of them except Doctor Strange in it. And I encourage you, because I know there's going to be people that disagree with this list. So I encourage you to go down in the comments below and put your top five for this year. And now, let's get this list started. At number five, I have X-Men Apocalypse. Now, the reason this is the lowest one on my list is because, obviously, it was the one I liked the least. It had a lot of issues, and it just didn't really compare to, you know, like, X-Men... Uh, crap, what's the first... X-Men First Class. Sorry, I couldn't think of the first movie in the new franchise, anyways. And then it definitely didn't compare to X-Men Days of Future Past, which I love X-Men Days of Future Past. That one's my favorite. But yeah, it just didn't do it for me it wasn't I mean it was okay but it wasn't that great especially the villain wasn't really that great because you know for a guy who's trying to you know destroy the world as if we haven't seen that cliche enough he just doesn't seem that big and powerful so you know overall I, I still think it's a good movie but not as good as all the other movies on my list so that is why it is number five on my list and at number four I have Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. I mean, for me, this is one of my, it wasn't my most anticipated movie of the year, which of course that movie's obviously going to be on this list, but it was probably my second most anticipated movie of the year, and it kind of disappointed me. I like it, it's okay, but it wasn't as awesome as I hoped it was. But, you know, one of the great things, one of the pros about this movie is the visuals. The visuals in this movie are amazing you know it's just it's so great to look at I mean that's one thing Zack Snyder does really great is the visuals but of course like story stuff you know stuff like that not very well because overall the movie for me was okay but I know majority of people didn't like it but yeah I mean there were a lot of things you know shoehorned into this movie I will give it that there were a lot of things in this movie that didn't need to be in it just like I saw the honest trailer and I agree with it it's like who had the idea to cram all of these things into this movie it's kind of true I mean they kind of burned through like four or five movies in this movie which was ridiculous but overall it was okay I mean the fight was awesome until the ending and if you've seen the movie you know what the heck I'm talking about the you know the Martha moment that part was kind of ridiculous I wish they would have took it right out of the graphic novel of the Dark Knight Returns and, you know, have Batman tell Superman, I want you to remember the one man who beat you. That would have been a better ending instead of, you know, oh, our moms have the same name. That changes everything. And Lex Luthor was okay. I know a lot of people didn't like him, but I don't like the regular Lex Luthor who's boring and older and all that stuff. I've never cared for Lex Luthor. I thought Doomsday was kind of a waste and I did not like how he looked. But yeah, overall, I thought Batman v Superman was okay, but not that great. Now, this one may seem like a shocker to some people, but yes, at number three, I have Captain America Civil War. Now, I know for some people, this might be their number one movie of the year, but frankly, when I saw it, I, I thought it was really boring. Okay, the only thing I liked about the movie was Spider-Man, because Spider-Man was amazing. That's like the best Spider-Man I've ever seen. And the airport fight. So yeah, the airport fight and the Spider-Man in the movie, they were phenomenal. Those moments were phenomenal. But the rest of the movie was just so boring. It was just so boring. I think Captain America, The Winter Soldier, that movie is a, 10 times better than this movie. But, you know, I, I just don't know. And I didn't understand Zemo's clear or clear motives. So somebody can tell me what his clear motives were. Now, I know he wanted to divide, you know, the Avengers and, you know, have them fall and all that stuff. But why? Why did he want that? I, I didn't understand that. Why was he even there? So if someone can tell me, like, down below, what was Zemo's clear motives for why he wanted to divide the heroes, please tell me because I didn't understand that. Maybe I just need to watch the movie again. 
But yeah, that's why it's number three on my list. I know it might be shocking to some people. I mean, the story is great, but I just felt like there needed to be more action or humor. But it was just boring throughout the movie, except when Spider-Man was around or if, or until obviously the airport battle, which was really awesome. But yeah, overall, I thought Civil War was a boring movie and, you know, I just didn't enjoy it that much. I wanted to enjoy it, but it wasn't that great for me. And that's why it's number three on this list. And at number two, we have Deadpool. Deadpool was definitely the funniest movie of the year that I've seen. Not just comic book movie, but of all movies in general in 2016. It was freaking hilarious. Deadpool is probably my favorite Marvel character. I just think he's so funny. This movie, I mean, granted, it does have a very common story, just a common revenge story. But there's so many other things in the movie that are great. Like all of the Easter eggs, all the fourth wall breaking, all of the jokes... It's just so funny. I think Ryan Reynolds killed it as Deadpool. And obviously he got revenge for when he played Green Lantern. Because obviously that was a huge flop. But he's back on the map with Deadpool. And obviously a lot of people loved it. I loved it. And I cannot wait for the sequel. And I guarantee the sequel will have a bigger budget. Because I don't remember the budget for this movie. But it was very low. It was only like 80 or $75 million or whatever. But it made a lot of money. So I guarantee you the sequel is going to have... A way bigger budget so you're gonna be seeing a lot more action and all kinds of different things and you're also gonna be seeing cable which I don't know who that is and also you're gonna see Domino so I cannot wait for the sequel I think it's gonna be amazing because Deadpool was one of, it was the funniest movie of the whole year and I think it was the best Marvel movie of the year by far so far I know Doctor Strange hasn't come out but as of now Deadpool is my favorite Marvel movie as of this year it was just so funny, and I just love the character so much. Now, as if you couldn't tell what number one was going to be, here it is. Number one movie, number one comic book movie of 2016 for me is Suicide Squad. Now, I know some people, obviously we've seen what the critics think of the movie, but for me, I care more about what the audience thinks. So, of course, I went to go see it because it was my most anticipated movie of the year. And I just flat out loved it. I know the critics didn't love it. I know some people didn't love it. But for me, I loved the movie. Is it perfect? Of course not. It's not perfect. I mean, there are some moments in the movie that are kind of like, eh. And plus, the and main antagonist, I was going to say villain, but it's a movie of villains. So the main antagonist of the movie, which I won't spoil, but it's pretty obvious by now, wasn't too amazing because it was another cliche where they want to destroy the world. Okay. There's that. So, the main antagonist of the movie wasn't great, but all of the other characters in the movie were phenomenal. Because, for example, Deadshot. I was kind of worried when Will Smith was cast as Deadshot. I just didn't think he could pull it off, but I think he nailed it as Deadshot. Now I can't picture anybody else playing Deadshot. I mean, granted, there might be some people, but as of now, I think Will Smith's doing amazing as Deadshot. And, of course, one of the standouts, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, she killed it i absolutely loved harley quinn in the movie i cannot wait for her to reappear in future movies and then i know for a lot of people this guy really surprised him jai courtney because i know for most people they don't care for him because he kind of seems kind of stale or boring you know not very you know exciting but in this movie he totally changes he's a very energetic type of character you know i mean for me boomerang wasn't the the character I was expecting, I expect kind of like the guy who doesn't care and he'll do some crappy things. But he was the comic relief in the movie. Now, some characters in this movie didn't really feel like they needed to be in it, but they were. Now, like Killer Croc, he didn't really do much in the movie, but, you know, muscle of the team, you always need that. And one of the standouts in this movie that I did not expect was El Diablo. I thought Jay Hernandez did an amazing job as El Diablo. He had one of the most emotional backstories and of course that was for me the it was during the most emotional scene in the movie which was in the bar scene which that was my favorite scene in the movie that move that scene right there was awesome and i know some people might be wondering how's Jer jared leto's joker now jared leto i think he did a great job but i don't think you can really judge him because he didn't appear in the movie that much he's literally only in it for like five minutes so you can't really judge him and of course batman was in the movie too and he was really great. I thought, that's the Batman I love. 
And then there was another Justice League member in it too, but I'm not going to spoil it if you don't want it spoiled. And he was great to see in it too. There were so many Easter eggs, cameos. It was just great to see all of these characters on screen for the first time, especially like Harley Quinn. And I think the main reason I love this movie so much is because, for one, I am a DC fan. Now, I'm not biased towards Marvel movies. I love Marvel movies too, but I tend to like more DC stuff. Plus, I thought that all of the characters were amazing. And the main thing is that it's different. It's different from what we've seen. For me, I mean, I'm not trying to be biased towards Marvel because I'm going to point this out with DC too, that with Marvel, I feel like all the Marvel movies are the same. I feel like they all look the same. They all seem the same. That's why some of them I don't like. Now, like I said, I'm not just going to be biased towards them. DC also, I have an issue with them because they always do Batman or Superman movies. And I've kind of gotten tired of that. And that's why this is my number one is because it's different. It's this movie based on super villains now or some do some of them feel like villains honestly no some of them don't feel like villains they honestly some of them feel like heroes in the end but with Deadshot that's fine everybody else wanted to feel like villains and of course members died obviously that's why it's called Suicide Squad but I'm not going to spoil that but one of them was kind of funny yeah that's why Suicide Squad is number one on my list now what is your number one movie of comic book movies of 2016 put them down in the comments below and of course as always I'd like to see you all next time